In this video, we're going to be modeling chapter 8, number 6, the stop bracket. Um, this is going to be a three-view drawing. So we're going to start out with construction lines in AutoCAD. I'm going to change to my construction layer, do an X line. Start in the bottom left of my drawing. And an X line going right, an X line going up. And now I could start my front view. If I'm looking at my front view, I notice that it is four inches high and it is 3.5 inches from left to right. So I'm going to do an offset of 3.5 from this left hand side. And then I'm going to offset again going up four inches. And this is going to end up being my front view. So now before I do anything, I could put my one inch divider inside of here before I get my top and side views. Now I'm going to start drawing my front view. I'm going to change over to the object layer. And if I look at this, I notice right away that we're just going to start out with a regular box. So I'm going to do a rectangle, two-point rectangle. I'm going to start from one side, draw all the way down to the other. And then I could see that this bottom portion is protruded up. So that's a 0.38 dimension. So I'm going to draw a line from this bottom left-hand side, go up 0.38. Send that all the way to the right. Now I'm going to have a line in here. This is one inch out. So I'm going to have that line showing that that curve is happening. So I'm going to do a line. I'm going to come from the left, go one inch. I'm going to go straight up with it. That's going to be that. And then I need this portion, these circles, and then I'll be okay. So let's do the circles first. One inch down and then 0.94 over. So I'm going to go one inch down and then I'm going to go 0.94 over. And then I could do a circle. And that has a 0.5 drill. So I'm going to do diameter 0.5. Then I'm going to do this other one. So that is going to be 0.75 in and one down. So 0.75 in, one down, do a circle. Another diameter of 0.5 has the same dimension, two holes, 0.5 drill. So then I'm going to delete the lines I used to draw those. Okay, now I need this slot in the middle. I go out from the left side, 1.56. I'm going to draw from the bottom, and I want to be a half inch below. So I'm going to come out from this top, actually, 1.56. I'm going to go down 0.5 to get that half inch, and then I'm going to go straight down from there and lock up with my base. Now I could delete this, delete this. That's a good start. Now the second one, if I look here, I have a 0.75 typical dimension. So we're going to use 0.75 on this other side in order to get this body. So I'm going to go from the center point of my circle out 0.75 and then draw straight down. Delete my line, move that over, and this should be your front view. Now I'm going to get the top view. If I look at this, my top view looking down, I'll only have three inches, so I'm going to offset that construction line by three going up. And then in sake of the right side view, I'll also have three inches, so I'm just going to offset that real quick while we're in the offset command. Now I'm going to go back to my line command. I'm going to draw. So this is going to be a box on one side, box on this side, and then it's going to have this slant. So I'm going to draw this line here, and draw this line here, and I'm going to come out one, and then this will go up uh, 0.56, and then those two will connect. And that's going to be the base of my front view. 
Now I have this 0.38 top, so I'm going to have to draw a line down 0.38 and then draw across. Delete that extra line. Now I have these three circles that I need to get. So I have a 0.66 dimension off here and then a 0.94. So I'm going to go 0.66, 0.94. In and then I could go down 1.5 and that's going to give me my two center points to my circle. So those are 0.38 drills. So I'll do a circle command. Diameter 0.38. Circle. Diameter 0.38. Then this last and final one I could go 1.75 over and then I could go This lines up with this circle, 1.5 down. So could go 1.75 from this. Do a circle. Diameter of 0.38. Hit under. Now that should be my three circles. Delete the lines I used to draw them. Now I need this protruding face, that angled face, on this top view. So I can see right here I'm given a dimension that from the back it comes out to two inches. So I can use this front view, come up here, and I could just go out two inches from there, come across the same distance. I could just use my imaginary line for that, and then I could go all the way back. And now I could just trim off this line from the back to make sure that that is two inches. Now we need to get the right side view. That's going to be our top view. Now we need the right side view. When we're looking at, at it from the right side, I'm going to see both of these 0.38 sides. So I'm going to see a straight line going down here and a straight line going over here. But I'm going to see a 0.38 going up. It's going to go all the way across here. And this is going to be, oh, I need to type in 0.38, oh, I need to do a line from here, 0.38, draw this straight down, draw this straight over until they meet, make sure that it doesn't lock up, trim those out. Okay, and now I could put a fillet in there if I want to. I'll do all my fillets at the end though. Um, I'm gonna get this slanted head right here. So that's gonna be 0.5 down. And then that's also gonna be two from the back. So I'm gonna go from here and go two. It's gonna be right there. And then I'm gonna go 0.5 down from the top. So it's 0.5. And then I'm gonna come straight down here where that two hit. And that's going to give me that slanted feature. Now that I have this, the next thing I want to do is get my fillets, and then I'll do my center lines and hidden lines. So I'm going to do fillet radius 0.12, which is given to me at the bottom of the drawing here. And I can see that there's a curve up here, curve up here, and then a curve inside of here. So I'm going to have a curve here, and then a curve right here and then a curve right there. And that should be my fillets. I won't be able to see it on this side. I won't be able to see it on this side. Now I'm gonna do my center lines and my center marks. So I'm gonna switch over to center and type in DCE for my center marks. Do my circles. Also do my fillets. Now I can do center lines. Once you have your dim centers, then we're gonna put hidden lines inside this drawing. So we're gonna switch over to the hidden layer. Select line. Now my hidden lines are gonna project from my circle. So if I'm coming off of 
this circle inside here. I'm going to project off this quadrant, go across here, draw my hidden line inside here. Come back, project off this quadrant, draw my hidden line inside here. Now because those circles line up, you only need one set of hidden lines for those. Same with these circles. These circles are going to go through this base down here. So you're going to come off of this quadrant, go all the way down to here. Draw straight. Then you're going to come off of this quadrant. Make sure you're coming off the quadrant too. Not that in point. Come all the way down. Draw your hidden line. And that's going to be for those two up there. And then I can do this one right here. Make sure that quadrant symbol comes up again. Mine's not coming up right now. Let's see here. There you go. Quadrant. Go straight down. Lock up on that. One more. Quadrant. Go straight down. Lock up on that. Now we need the hidden lines inside of here for these two, these circles up here. Um, multiple ways to do this. I do like the transfer line the best, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do a construction line function, come off of this endpoint, make it a 45 degree angle. Then I'm going to use X lines off of these quadrants up here. Going to the right, do another X line off of this quadrant up here and do one here and then do one here. Now I could use those and that transfer line to draw my hidden lines down. So I'm going to switch over to my hidden layer. Do a line. I'm going to come off the right side here. Go straight down. As soon as I lock up on there, draw my hidden line. Come off of this point right here. As I lock up on here, draw my hidden line. Come off this top quadrant, draw down. Get my hidden line. Then come off this bottom quadrant. Let's see here. Draw down. And get my hidden line. Now I just need center lines and we're all done. So I'll switch over to my center layer. So now I could do a line. And then I could just come off this center point. Go straight down from it. And then extend it a quarter inch past. Do another one up here. Go straight down from it. Quarter inch past. Could do this right side view. Quarter inch past. Okay, and now I could do these bottom ones down here, and I could use X lines again to project those. So I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over to my construction layer again. Do an X line, make that off this center point. Then do an X line, and make that off this center point. Now I'm going to come back, switch over to my center layer. Do a line, come off that center point, go straight down, draw my center line. Same thing, come off that center point, draw straight down. And now this is what your drawing should be. You could turn off your construction lines. Oh. We are missing one thing. We're missing in lines and center lines back here. So I'm just going to project off these real quick. I'm in my center layer. Do my center line for this back side. Do my center line for this back side. And then do my hidden lines. Hidden. I'm going to come off this quadrant inside here. Go through that object. Hidden. Come off this quadrant right here. Go through that object. Same thing on this side. Hidden off the quadrant. Go through that object. Hidden off the quadrant. Go through that object. 